Okay, we're going to look at now an example. Which is um, the average height of women. is 63.5 inches with standard deviation of 3 inches. This is from the Haynes five study. So um, the Haynes study is the health and nutritional examination study and the public health cervix uh, exams are representative across um, a cross section of Americans. So this is Americans, and this was done in um, 2003 to four of American women. And um, And this is 18 and older. Okay. So we got those pieces of information down. All right. So the height of women, the height of uh, women and men, but let's look at women separately, is normally distributed. Okay. Now, what this means is we're going to, well, what partially what it means is when I make a bell curve here or this normal distribution, I don't put zero in the middle. That's the standard uh, normal distribution. Instead, I'm going to put these numbers in here for the mean, which is 63.5. So this is the population mean, and we use the, um, the Greek letter mu. And then... What we're going to see is, well, let's write this down. Mu is 63.5, and sigma is the standard deviation is 3. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do is, although I don't have really that much space unless I draw really small here, is I'm going to try to fill in this graph a little bit and add standard deviations of three each time. Okay, something like that. And I'll subtract. All right, this is different from the standard the standard normal curve where in the standard normal curve, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. But what we can do is we can take this curve and, and um, we can convert these numbers into the numbers over here. We can convert to standard units. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if the numbers for height are given by x, what I'm going to do is I am going to shift this curve by subtracting the mean. And then I'm going to divide by standard deviation. And this is going to give what they call the z value.
so let me just follow up on this, you know, let's get going on this example. Um, one, suppose that a woman is 69.5 inches tall. What is her height in standard units? Okay, so what I can do is I can use this formula, which I barely explained. So, but um, let me, I want to ex hopefully explain it just not using the formula. So we have X is 69.5, mu is 63.5, and sigma is 3. All right, so if you take 69.5 and you subtract 63.5, you might be able to do this in your head and you get six. So this woman is six inches above the average height for women across America in 2003. So she's six inches taller. The question is, well, how many standard deviations is that? Well, three goes two times into six. So she's two standard units or above the average. So that's why we're going to divide by this three, the sigma here. Okay, so what this is saying is the woman is two standard deviations above the mean. And the reason, I mean, for height, I think it might be something where we just say, well, okay, yeah, um, 69 inches. Remember, 60 inches is five feet, so she's five foot nine and a half, which is, you know, it's on the tall side. So you, and, and why would I say that? Well, just because of the people I know type thing. If I move to another country where there's taller people, Maybe I'd say, oh, it's not so tall, but but so it's it's related to what I know, and and that is what I'm doing here, really. I'm saying, well, the average is around, you know, is the average is 63.5, so it's six inches above the average. Now, even that, you might say, well, is that a lot? Well, that's two standard deviations. But see, height in this example is something we know about. Suppose I'm talking about something that I, you know, that I'm, that I'm just learning about. Like suppose you're manufacturing parts and you were looking at um, an error in the part and you say, well, this is a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. Well, how much bigger? And, and so you can talk about standard deviations. How much bigger? Now keep in mind that approximately ninety-five percent of the population lies within negative two and two standard units. So that is what you can do with the standard units. You say, okay, two standard units, is that a lot? Well, if you look at, in terms of standard units, then you might be able to put something together. So you have 95% There's zero, negative one, two, negative two. That's 95%. So this woman is at the edge of that. Now, if you take 95% and take away 100%, which is the total area, so what's left over from 95% is, is 5%. And then that 5% is gonna be in these two tails here. 5% is the total of these two tails. So 95% plus 5% makes 100. So there's 5% in total when you add up these two tails. Well, half of 5% makes 2.5%. Over here, this is also 2.5%. So one way, if I say, well, she's two standard deviations above the mean, and one way to look at that is that only 2.5% of the population is her height or taller. So 
putting this in standard units makes us, and then talking about percentages of the population can help us understand whether this is a big number or, you know, yes, it's, it's six above the average. Is that a lot or a little? I mean, if I were talking about six millimeters, that would be not very much. So the, you know, that makes it, that's an important point is what units are we using? We think of six inches above the average as large because we're used to inches. Maybe in other country people don't even think about inches. So, but the, the idea of putting in standard units is we're not even thinking about units anymore. We're not thinking about whether this is in inches or centimeters or millimeters. We're saying two standard units. And then when we use this empirical rule, which is 95% or between negative two and two with population, then we say, oh, okay, well, this person's uh, on the tall side. Only two and a half percent of the people are, are her height or more. All right, so, but um, part of this formula or this video is just about this guy right here. And I hope that by talking through this, we can understand this formula. X in this case was 69.5. The average mu is 63.5 and the standard deviation is three. And this is the formula that we can use so we don't have to really think it through each time.